Hello, my name is Boyd McBacon. I'm with PPL Motorhomes in Houston, Texas, and today we're with John Hawkins. He's the aftermarket sales manager for BAL. And what we're going to be talking about today is stabilization for fifth wheels and travel trailers. Uh, here at the dealership, we have customers all the time asking us, you know, do I buy chocks, do I buy scissor jacks, do I buy tripods? And if you will, John, just go through with us where a customer should start on stabilization. And, and boy, thanks, you're right. We do get a lot of questions on stabilization. And the first thing that we ask a consumer when they're interested in about stabilizing their camper, their travel trailer, or their fifth wheel, is do you have factory installed corner scissor jacks or, or crank down jacks on the corners? Majority of the time they do. And this is the first thing to start off with. If they don't, we do recommend this. And that allows the trailer to be stable when there's pressure put in each corner of the trailer. Right. So it's kind of static pressure that when, it, when it's there. If they already have these and they still want to improve their stabilization or their comfort in their RV, the next thing we move to is our tandem axle chocks. And these are the chocks that go between the tires. Each tire goes in between them. we we'll give you a handle and you crank out and apply pressure. And that pressure keeps the tires from moving opposite of each other. And since most of the trailer is front, movement in the trailer is front to back, that keeps the tires from walking. We also have another version that sits on the ground, a little less expensive, but it does just the same job. So you've got up in the air or on the ground. And most people don't realize that the, the suspension in an RV is meant to be for to move. Exactly. Yes. Your leaf springs are moving up and down, your tires are moving up when you're going down the road. When you're in the trailer, it's only natural for it to have movement as well. And that's where the chalk comes into play. The chalk takes out that movement. Yes, exactly. Right. exactly. And then if they have the scissor jacks and the chalk, what would be the next step at that point? The next step, if they're still looking to improve their stability from there, which most people do, they still want it, is our lock arm stabilizing bar. And this is a, uh, an add-on accessory for your crank down jacks. Now, it will not only work on our scissor jacks, it will work on landing gear jacks on the front of the fifth wheel as well. Right. And in those instances, usually two sets, one front to back, one side to side. But on a trailer such as this, uh, with a, if it has a scissor jack, you're attaching the lock arm to the foot of the trailer and then to the frame of the, of the travel trailer. So the, when the jack goes up and down, it actually travels with it. So you don't ever have to take it off again. One time install. One time install, right. And then you tighten the nut down and that keeps the jack supported to the frame of the trailer. So that, that ties the frame of the trailer into the jack. Exactly. So it doesn't actually move. Or it gives you a two-point stabilization. You're attached to the frame here, you're attached to the frame coming down, and it just helps the trailer, when you're there's moving in the trailer, it helps the trailer jack keep from flexing side to side. And all of these products here are mainly for travel trailers and fifth wheels, both. Yes. But you also have the tripod stabilizers that were for fifth wheels only. Yes, for fifth wheel campers only, our tripod, we do have a two-legged bipod model, but our tripod is our most popular seller. And this is for the pin box that attaches to the, to the hitch of the truck. It helps stabilize that while there's movement in the trailer. It keeps that cantilever action from happening. Right. From happening. Correct. And you snug it up, we have adjustments on it to tighten it up, spread the legs apart. And then the gooseneck version next to you uh, is for either race car trailers or horse trailers or living quarter trailers that have a gooseneck yeah, on the front or consumers that have a fifth wheel and converted it with a fifth wheel uh, gooseneck converter they have the, the kind of a little brother version to use there with that. Yeah. and I know that we're going to get into more detail we're going to go out here in a minute we're going to shoot a couple of different videos on the use and what's included with each of these different products right give the consumers a little bit more of a an idea of what they're going to be purchasing when they get each of these different products right. but overall when it comes to stabilizing your trailer or fifth wheel BAL has everything a consumer should need everything and very inexpensive uh, majority of them are very easy to use and a, a great way to you know stabilize the trailer but also help improve your your RV and experience while you're camping all right, well, let's go outside and let's get the other videos working on some of these products, okay? Great.